is the Philippines welcoming to foreigners? Fact is yes. Um, and I've talked about the dangerous areas of the Philippines, and like I said, just stay away from them. You don't need to go anywhere near them. They, you know, they're, they're not on your path unless you put them in there. But from a positive aspect, I've had it where I've gone into the Philippines with a large selection of money. Um, and the only prodding around they did was to see whether it was pesos. They just asked, is it pesos? No, that was it. The only thing they bothered about. Um, same thing, I, I remember being in uh, with the um, chief of immigration when a call come through from the airport with a foreigner that had brought everything in in pesos. Uh, basically, he just got the guy to go through the uh, immigration over to the the uh, money changers, change it into dollars, and then go back, and then go back through again. They could have confiscated all his money. Now, that's one of the reasons I like the Philippines. In the UK, they would have took my money, without a doubt, right? I'll, bear in mind that I wasn't over the limit, by the way. <laughs> I want to stress that. But the, the fact is, if I was, they would take it. Philippines, they're flexible. They, they, they're not stupid. Um, the West has got so rigid and horrible. Everything's got a rule. Everything's got a process. Everything's got something that needs to be required and done. And a little stamp. And a, I hate it. That's why I love the Philippines. Because all that nonsense doesn't affect me nine times out of ten. Because it doesn't exist. But... The same thing, same airport. I come in from a man. Um, my passport, because I have a new one. Um, basically, the problem with a new passport was I needed my old one because my immigration residency stamp was in the old one. Uh, my friend Philip had actually got up at 3 a.m. to come to the airport for me because I thought I'm going to preempt this because I can see it being a problem. Um, so when I got to immigration and I gave my uh, residency card they said where's your stamp in your passport <laughs> and what do you do well the fact is they just told me to go outside and get my passport and bring it back how many airports would do that this is the Philippines that's that's the sort of welcoming thing if you're they're not so rigid and horrible it's not like uh, People are looking to rip you off. A lot of people get paranoid. This is where a lot of the problems come from. There was like, um, I remember reading someone said, I'll put 500 pesos in your in your passport. I bet the guy keeps wondering, why do these people keep giving me money? Okay. Because yeah. <laughs> they don't need to. There's no, I don't know. I don't understand it. But the fact is, the Philippines itself is welcoming, even from an official capacity. When you get problems, it's normally in the areas that they know people frequent for the wrong reasons, the red light districts, etc., because they don't see foreigners as nice people there. Um, I know from having a residency card, they treat you with a be better respect than you do as a tourist visa, because obviously they can't tell the difference between a, a sex tourist and somebody on holiday unless they're off to Barakai or something. So. That's just something to be aware of. If you frequent the areas that are uh, known for certain uh, entertainment, then you may find it's not as polite and easygoing um, because they don't see you in the same light as a tourist. A tourist to them is somebody there spending money. A resident there spending money, living there, settled, married. A sex tourist they're exploiting um and that's how filipinos see it you can argue about me going, oh well you think of this or that it's nothing to do with that this is how the local community see you um but overall they're pretty welcoming i've never had any issues uh, i know some people have had problems but i was never there if i was there there probably there'd be something else that they don't tell you um like shouting at an immigration official. Uh, people have been deported at the airport as they've arrived for doing something like that. They don't, they don't like it. They treat you with respect, so they're just asking for you to give it back. So from that point of view, they're very welcoming. Filipinos generally are very, very friendly people. And 
you don't get too many problems. If anything, the average Filipino will probably try and protect you rather than the other way around. They're not going to try and rip you off or whatever. As long as you're sensible, then you won't have any problems in the Philippines. I love the country. Um, I know it can be difficult, but at the same time, I was at a, I think it was Heathrow Airport, and somebody had to go to another airport within London, and they quoted them £200. So I see it from the other perspective as well. When people go into the UK, they get ripped off. Um, and the fact is, this is something you normally don't see. Um, it's a bit like when I went to the US, for example. I was at Kissimmee Airport. We have gone, gone to uh, Disney World. And the first thing I got when I went to the US was a customer, this little um, woman at the front. With, it was probably about four or 500 people all queued up with their little green papers for coming into the uh, US for their vacations. And this woman shouting, If you haven't filled in your form, Properly, you will be sent to the back. That was your first view of the U.S. Now, I know a lot of Americans were, if they got that same response in Cebu or anywhere else in the Philippines, they would complain about it because they've never seen that from the other side. Um, so just be aware that a lot of this stuff is just process, but you will find in the Philippines people are more laid back. They're, they're not... Even taxi drivers, I mean, I've haggled with taxi drivers. Um, I'm quite happy just to pay what's on the meter. Some of them will try and get it, get it off the meter. But generally, the reason I keep it on the meter is if the meter's on, it's taxed. Um, it also means that the owner of the taxi is actually getting paid and the driver isn't ripping the owner off. Um, but for me, that's the right thing to do. You know, pay, pay the, the tab, tax. Um, what do you call it? The uh, meter rate. Um, I know you, you'll see people advised not to, you know, negotiate a price that are. A lot of time I can't be bothered now. I used to. Don't get me wrong. Um, I used to pay 300 pesos to mingle in Ilia. And I know people that pay 1,000 for the same trip. But if you stick it on the meter, it's, it's only less, less than 400 anyway. But the, the, the point is. It's not not a lot when you compare it to the two hundred quid for the London taxi driver, <laughs> and that's 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 the key thing here is if you're on holiday mode, stay in holiday mode, but don't let little small things wind you up because they're the same wherever you are on the planet. If it's a major problem, get hold of somebody on the embassy. Um, embassies aren't very good for many things um, dealing with the general public because they're there for trade. But if it's major, get hold of them as soon as possible. Everything else can be worked out. Um, and generally, nobody's going to bother you. Uh, they know you're there for your holiday. They don't want you having a bad holiday because you won't come back. If you're there to settle and live there, um, most people ain't gonna, they, they still see it as like a holiday because you're there spending money. You're not. Um, you're not a problem. You. You're a commodity. You're your value to the community because you're spending money. Um, that's all I can say on it. Philippines is pretty welcoming as long as you treat treat people with respect. The same, treat people the way you want to be treated. Um, and I do it with everybody. As I said to a friend of mine with the um, with security guards, because sometimes they get a lot of stick at the uh, shopping malls and stuff. I says, but. There could be a time where that guy that you say thank you for holding your door open to every time you go in is the guy that stops you getting robbed because they know you because you're the guy that always says thank you. Because yeah. people remember those things. All right, thanks for watching.